and honey. So I don't know where my little mallet is. So y'all already know this drill. No, no singing bowl today, honey. <laughs> hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your ancestor reading, tarot reading this week. Now, Sagittarius, I also did your spirit guide, urgent spirit guide tarot messages, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my messages, uh, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Sagittarius. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that- <coughs> Oh, honey, I'm dying. <laughs> take the cards that resonate and leave uh, what doesn't because I promise you, I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, Sagittarius. But if you do find some cards that resonate with you, I would really appreciate it, Sagittarius, for you to take that extra time to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot. And also let me know which cards called out to you the most and how they resonate with you because that's how we keep up with y'all through the comments, right? And then finally, Sagittarius, remember, I don't feel like any tarot reading should be making a choice in your life. I feel like tarot cards, tarot readings are here to provide a perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your life, as you go throughout your days, honey. Um, but they're never here to make the choice for you because it's not my life to live. It's not the tarot card's life to live. It's not any tarot reader's life to live. It's your life, Sagittarius. So keep that in mind. Are we taking these? Yeah. Uh, and so with all that being said, Sagittarius, let's just get into your ancestor reading. We're taking a lot of cards, apparently, honey. So let's actually get into your animal oracle cards first before we get into this uh, pile of tarot cards for you, Sagittarius. We have the hummingbird spirit number 34 equaling to 7 for numerology, Sagittarius. The hummingbird spirit set asks for you to be here now. So right off the bat, your ancestors, Sagittarius, are asking you to be present in your current moment. Um, why that is, I mean, I already kind of have some suspicions, especially with these animal oracle cards that kind of answer the question as well, but it's really just a card asking for you to be present in the current moment, Sagittarius. I don't know if, you know, this could be a card of where it's like some of you Sagittariuses are currently ungrounded, perhaps. Um, some of you guys may just be in this place of um, being stressed or anxious about the future and how things are going to be panning out. Um, and when you think in that way, then you're not paying attention to what's going on currently in your current space. Now, some of you guys may have noticed I was hesitating with this weasel card, and that's because you guys, I was being told to bring out another animal oracle card for you. So you guys get two, unlike most people. So <laughs> with this weasel, don't tell nobody either, Saji. <laughs> with this weasel card, though, it says, be silent, pay attention, and simply observe with your eyes and ears and physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you. So with this, it's, it's kind of a similar message in essentially asking you to be present, right? Be present in the current moment um, and just paying attention. Don't make assumptions that you know the answers to things. Don't make the assumptions that you know how things are going to be panning out. And then with this mouse card, this is really what wraps these animal oracle cards together, which is, I love it. And this is almost, this was essential, so I'm glad I did it. Uh, and I listened. So your ancestors brought out this mouse card saying... Sagittarius, you are overlooking some important details, so pay closer attention to what is going on. So this is why, right? This is why your ancestors right now, Sagittarius, are asking for you to be present with the hummingbird as well as the weasel spirit is because there's something that you're overlooking. There's something in your current space at this time, Sagittarius, that you need to be paying attention to. I don't like we can we'll get into it with the tarot cards as to what exactly this is about, um, but yeah, there's something going, there's very much so a situation of where it's like, there's more, more information, you know, there's more information that needs to be had, um, about something going on in the current space, as well as, I can't help but feel like there's something that you might not be addressing currently, uh, Sagittarius. So let's get into this. So very mixed messages with these tarot cards, actually. So very, hmm. <sighs> Hmm. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, what is going on with you, honey? So let's break this down. With this Three of Swords here, this is the card of pain, right? This is the card that, aside from the uh, Tower card, probably like one of the most dreaded cards for most people when they're receiving a reading is this Three of Swords because it's talking about some type of pain. Uh, but I can't help but feel like it's not like 
foreshadowing pain coming towards you. I feel like this has already happened with this Ten of Swords as well. So I can't help but feel like Sagittarius, especially with this Nine of Wands here. I know I'm jumping to all the cards so quickly. But with this dynamic, it's letting me know almost, Sagittarius, of an insecurity of yours. Where it's just like an insecurity that's bringing forth a lot of pain. I don't know, Sagittarius, if something's happened. Actually, I do feel like it's happened pretty recently. Or it's, I keep on hearing the word transition. Um, I keep hearing where it's just like some type of bump on the road. Something kind of just uh, took you back. And you feel as if it's almost um, you went backwards in your progression of life. Or you're backwards in some type of progression or some aspect of your life. So with this and especially with this nine of pentacles i'm leaning more so more so towards sagittarius it feels like what's the word that i want to use i don't want to use failed because i don't believe in failure especially if you're able to learn something from the situation it's not failure because you get information and information is so invaluable but it's almost like with this nine of pentacles it's like some type of personal project some t something that like was just kind of yours, right? With these these two nines here, I feel like there was not really any other party involved. Like, I don't feel like it's another person that brought forward this pain um, that put these swords in your back, right? I do feel like it was like, a, let's just say Sagittarius, you, hmm, you opened up an Etsy store, for example, and you've been trying to make this Etsy store work where it's just like your own personal project and you were feeling really good about it, right? You're feeling so confident in the sense that you're being like, oh yeah, this Etsy store is going to take off. This uh, product that you're trying to sell, you just know it's going to be so successful, right? You feel like everyone's going to... Um, everyone's going to like want this product and it's just like it's going to take off you were so convinced that something was going to take off Sagittarius and I kind of feel like it didn't I kind of feel like something happened you received some news or just like you just woke up one day and it's just like mm, it sounds brutal Sagittarius but it's almost like reality slapped you in the face where you kind of just realized and be like oh maybe like this Etsy store actually isn't what you're being called to do this Etsy store isn't going to be what um, is part of your story, is part of your success story, right? Now, um, this is where it gets interesting here because it's like with this page of fire and this, which is the page of wands nor in normal tarot and the sun card, Sagittarius, I do feel like, notice how I was saying that Etsy store isn't part of your storyline for your success story. I do feel like you're still going to be successful, Sagittarius. I just feel as if it's not going to be in the storyline that you wanted it to initially be in. With this Page of Wands, this is a card talking about new opportunities. This is a card about new projects, new passion projects, right? With the fire energy. And the Sun card, it's like, it's like your ancestors, Sagittarius, are trying to say, it's just like, hey... There's a reason why you fell flat on your face with some type of project. Now, I'm just going to be blunt here because it's just like, I feel like that's just how your ancestors are trying to speak to you right now. I'm not going to sugarcoat things. And I know you Sagittarius can handle it out of any of the zodiac signs, really. Um, I feel like it was almost essential for some type of bump on the road, some type of obstacle to happen that kind of just puts puts a stop in your tracks. Yeah, it made you feel a little bit insecure. It brought some forward some pain and where you're just like, oh man, this wasn't pleasant. This doesn't feel good that your Etsy store didn't take off, right? I mean, honey, I understand more than anybody probably about that. So I'm not trying to like sound dismissive or anything like that because I do totally understand this pain that you're experiencing, right? You took a risk with something you really um, put your all in on this. I am seeing Sagittarius and I just feel like even if it didn't like not fully work out, right? Sagittarius, maybe you did make some sales. Maybe you did get a little bit of traction, but maybe it just wasn't the results that you were anticipating, right? Maybe the amount of work and energy that you're putting into this just isn't Sagittarius giving you the results that you would like, isn't giving you the payout that you deserve truly and i think that's what's getting in your head it's almost like you're you're trying to do this and it's just like well why is my etsy store not taking off when you can look at other people's etsy stores and they did put in like half the effort or work that you put in and they seem to get better results right one we don't want to develop that comparative thinking right because that can i mean we can get into that we can, like when we start doing that honey sagittarius we just start spiraling and that's when we start internalizing things and start feeling as if like we are not enough as if like we aren't doing something something proper and that's not the case Sagittarius I really do feel like 
um, back to these page of fire and the sun card, I do feel like your ancestors are being like, no, like this wasn't part of your story. This Etsy store, yeah, this could have worked out, but that's not like we have something bigger planned for you. Sagittarius is something that I'm hearing. The sun card is the best card in the deck. And I feel like it's just like your success actually comes in through a new passion project of sorts, Sagittarius. So yeah, you may have fallen flat on your face on something. You may not have been happy with the results of something of that Etsy store, right? But don't call it quits. Don't, uh, don't, um, don't fold right now. Keep pushing, right? Just because this like didn't work out, that doesn't mean that you are um, lacking anything Sagittarius. It just means, again, it wasn't part of your uh, storyline to your success story. So keep that in mind. Get out of your head, uh, Sagittarius, about this, right? Just, you know, have your moment of pain too. I don't want it to seem as if I'm being dismissive towards your experience, right? Again, I totally get it, Sagittarius, where it's like you really wanted this to work out, right? three of wands maybe you even thought that was going to be the one where it's just like maybe you thought like it was just like you had some initial results and you're just like oh yeah you can pivot you can truly like um you felt as if like you can really do something with this and so that's probably why you experienced such a heavy pain when in, you continued putting energy into it and it didn't work out um so yeah Sagittarius it's just like I mean, think about it like this if you're able to do as much as you did with this past project imagine how much better it's going to be now that you have you start doing something else and your ancestors um are part of that process because I do feel like once you start answering to your true calling that's when um your ancestors spirit guides whatever it is that you believe in uh Sagittarius that's when the magic really happens and that's when they will start helping you more because at that point they're going to help you because you're on the path that they know is best for you that's going to be the most profitable right it's one of those things you have to remember where it's just like from our perspective our human physical perspective we can't see that far out into the future we don't see where our path is taking us because we only see it from our personal perspective whereas our ancestors see it from such a much wider range so they know what's coming so it may seem like initially where it's just like well why didn't you help me out with this etsy store i thought you were with me i thought you were going to help me create why aren't you why didn't this work out and it's because it's just like it's for your betterment right now it doesn't feel like it because it's just like well geez like <laughs> falling flat on my face did nothing but hurt right but definitely i feel like your story definitely gets better with that page of fire and that sun card the sun card's the best card in the deck honey, so you can't get better than that i really do feel like your next project would be the one that really gives you your breakout moment so please Sagittarius, don't have your moment of like a frustration i cannot shuffle these cards alone have your moment of frustration sagittarius but don't don't allow this um mini lapse to uh get you stuck in a rut of any type please please don't because um, yeah we'll, we'll do these two because the magician card and the devil card right you do not want this devil to block your magician the magician is the master and creator of the magician acknowledges that they are the creator of their own reality their own universe that they are able to manifest what it is that they want um right so with that like situation that was just kind of like a bump on the road um that's where this devil comes in where it's just like this insecure that sneaking uh in, um hello my words getting jumbled that sneaking uh, suspicion or not suspicion i still cannot speak honey this sneaking um insecurity when you start getting in your head about that etsy store like going belly up right you do not want that to suppress this magician energy where it's like you start doubting yourself you no longer think you would be a successful business person sagittarius that's not the case truly 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 just do not get in your head at this time sagittarius i don't know how else i can stress this enough and it's just like i wish i could move on from it but like your ancestors are really just being repetitive not only through the tarot cards but i'm just like what I'm being shown in hearing is just like the same things over and over again. And like, it's just like they're trying to just like, I'm seeing a drill now. It's like they're trying to just drill this message in your head of being like, no, Sagittarius, you are so good at what, like, you are such a high uh, functioning, high functioning, <laughs> high, um, I can't think of the word for it. Like, you have a lot of potential, basically. Um, you have a lot of talent that just hasn't been tapped into in the right 
environment in the right market quite yet. It has nothing to do with you and your capabilities. The magician has the master of all suits. It's just, you know, just wasn't that part, uh, that Etsy store just wasn't part of your ministry. So, uh, Sagittarius, we talk about all of that. What can we, let's bring some good in here. What blessings can we anticipate for my Sagittarius's, right? We talk about like something going belly up or just not panning out in the way that you would like Sagittarius, but what about the good things, right? We don't, I don't know why I cannot shuffle this deck right now with you guys, Sagittarius. Usually it's this deck, not that anyone cares, but usually it's these two decks that I can shuffle so beautifully, but th right now I cannot, I actually, that's why I don't want this deck anymore. We're going to use this one. <laughs> um, yeah, usually I can shuffle that one so like effortlessly. And I actually learned how to shuffle uh, with that deck. So it's weird to me that I couldn't shuffle it, but I guess it just wasn't for you anymore. So let's just see what blessings Sagittarius. <laughs> what blessings Sagittarius has coming towards them. Right now, Saggy, I'm glad y'all can't see my face because the face I just gave my deck right now, honey, if looks could kill. <laughs> All right. I'm getting too sidetracked. I apologize, Saggy. All right. What blessings are coming in for you, Sagittarius? We have the Knave of, uh, Knave of Swords. We have the Four of Wands. And then we have the Death card. You know, honey, I know I did just say that we're talking about blessings. And you see this Death card and you're just like, okay, this is not some kind of blessing, right? But think about what I just was talking about, Sagittarius. If anything, this should be really exciting for you. Uh, like, I'm excited for you, Sagittarius, just because of, like, this death card is reaffirming exactly what I was saying in this pile here. So while I know this sounds like I'm just being like, oh, see, I'm right. It's really not in that way. It's just more so extra affirming in the sense that you need to go through some type of transition, um, allowing something to come to an end to go into, I said this was a five, but this or a four, but this is the five of wands, right? I feel like there's just like this sense of just like releasing things and... Sagittarius, I feel like this is reminiscent of your um, general reading as well for your last week. So please check that out if this message resonates. But it's just like, there is just like this sense that like, whatever project with that Etsy store that you did, I feel like you're still trying to bring along stuff that just isn't meant for you. So even if you were to do that same Etsy store, maybe you go about it in a different way. Maybe if you were doing stuff with other people um, or trying to make it work in a specific way where it's just like, you want you had a vision for your Etsy store and you're just like, oh, you're going to um, sell only wire wrapped jewelry that you personally make with this type of dynamic. Maybe you need to like realize like how much work that actually involved and that you couldn't it's not sustainable. And then you go about it in a different approach where you become like a jewelry retailer where it's just like you sell other people's jewelry. So you don't have to be the one putting in all the man hours of creating a single piece of jewelry to sell for like 30 bucks. Right. Um, so you could very well, I don't want my uh, language to come off as like you sh it's like the Etsy store isn't your calling. It just is more about um, how you're going about it. Right. So don't view this as a situation where it's just like, that anything you do is going to fail because I don't feel like it is. I just feel like there just needs to be a little bit more refinement. I feel like there just needs to be more of a um, sense, Sagittarius, of where you... <sighs> Editing just comes to mind. Editing comes to mind and just coming at things with a different approach, whether that is no... Like, again, like again, if you're doing like that Etsy store, like whatever the example is, if you're doing something with other people before... Maybe you need to go out on your own. Try something else by yourself with no other involvement with other party members. Or um, if you are doing it by yourself, maybe you should include other people. You know, it's just like changing how you do things, right? Rather than just um, falling victim to something not working out, change it up and continue pushing yourself. Continue trying to push what it is that you do, push like how you do it and all of that, right? But definitely success is coming towards you for sure with all these cards, right? I would tell you, like, honey, you know I had no problems telling you at the beginning. So, um, yeah, Sagittarius, that's the cards that I have for you. I hope this me these messages resonate in some type of way. If they did, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then I would really appreciate it, Sagittarius, if you did enjoy this tarot reading, to please uh, show your friends my tarot channel as well um, that you think might be into my messages. But until next time, Sagittarius, I love you so much much.